I'm going to do a bunch of meal prep today, and I'm going to do my sprouts up in this jar here, and it takes about four days for them to grow. I just weighed myself, and I've gained a few pounds, and I have to get on this because I worked way too hard to take it off. So back on my journey. So what you do is just put a little bit of water in here, and you put your seeds in there. Let it sit for like five minutes, and then you strain it. And you turn it upside down and you rinse it like every time you think about it, like once or twice a day. Twice is perfect, actually. And I'll show you how they grow. So now I just leave her in here and twice a day I'll come and rinse it. And what I do by that is I just turn the water on, put a little water in there. Turn the tap off, sorry. Swish it around a little bit and then I just drain it. And I put her back into the bowl. And in a few days, so this is day one, which is Tuesday. No, Wednesday, pardon me. It's Wednesday. And I'll show you how fast it grows. I'm gonna do the meal prep. I have a bunch of mushrooms I need to use up. I have about six green onions that I need to use up as well. I bought more today. And uh, I'm going to use half in the mushrooms and this leftover piece of onion, a piece of garlic. And I'll save the other three onions for my egg salad, my tuna salad that I'm making up. And I'll put all this into a pan. Usually I usually just do a red onion with the mushrooms, but I have this, so I'm going to use it up. And this will be for my flatbread pizzas, or I'll use it like on when I eat something else. Won't go to waste. In my frying pan, I have green onions, a garlic clove, a little piece of red onion, and some mushrooms. I'm going to put a little bit of Montreal steak spice on this. Not lots, just a little bit. I'll add a little salt and definitely add some pepper. And I'll probably do some chili flakes because I like a little bit of spice in everything. And then I'm going to move on to my eggs. For my I'm going to do my egg salad up now. I boiled up six eggs. This will last me three, three days, three meals, two at each meal. And the tuna will last me uh, probably the same. So I'm good. I'm going to do, I can eat this on top of a salad too, instead of on crackers or anything, or I can roll it in lettuce. I'm not in any mayonnaise whatsoever, just cilantro and some green onions to this. And I'll drizzle some balsamic glaze over it when I eat it, either on a cracker or on lettuce. And then I'm going to move on to my tuna. My tuna, I am going to use two teaspoons of mayonnaise in the tuna. I'll use cilantro and green onions as well. I buy the tuna that's in uh, water, not in oil. And I'm going to make two tins up. This is a President's Choice uh, tuna that's a, a product in uh, our stores here in Canada, if you're from the States. Anybody in Canada knows what President's Choice is. So I'm going to do two big teaspoons of mayonnaise for two tins. If I wasn't on a diet, I would use a whole lot more mayonnaise, but I need to take this uh, seven pounds off ASAP. I'd like to take 10 off, well, actually 15, but I'd be happy to get the seven off. I felt it right away too. I knew I'd gained five, but uh, and then I felt really bloated for the last few days and I weighed myself and I went, no, I'm on top of this. I'm just gonna slice my eggs up now too with the cilantro and the green onions and I won't drizzle the balsamic vinegar over it until I'm ready to eat it. Um, I like to put this in a lettuce wrap and I have these uh, crackers I get at Ikea that I really like that are low, low cal. You get two for like 100 calories or something. So I have my mushrooms, my uh, egg salad, my tuna salad, all ready to go for my meal prep. I'm going to move on and uh, clean my lettuce up. And I think I'm going to make a really, really nice watermelon um, salad. So my leftover cilantro here, I'll just put into a little side dish. And when I need it, it's there for me to use. I can use that in a lot of things. I just made one of my flatbread pizzas on a roti skin with mushrooms and onions. A little bit of cheese, not much, some greens and balsamic vinegar. I've shown this a lot online, so I didn't bother showing how I make it, but it's in a lot of my videos. Um, so 
yeah, I'm going to go eat dinner. Good morning, everybody. I have to run up to the Apple store and something's wrong with my phone, but whatever. It keeps locking on me. Um, I'm going to run up and do that in a couple minutes here. I'm just showing you. I just rinsed my sprouts and this is day two on them and already, but this jar will be full when I'm done today, day four. Uh, when I get back, I am going to make um, my watermelon apple salad. I'm just getting things ready for it. But I just want to get into the mall before it gets too busy at the Apple store because you know how le Apple, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, it, you know how busy it gets up there. So I'll catch you on the rebound. I came up to look at look at new phones because mine's acting up. Look how pretty this is in this RH restaurant. It's absolutely beautiful. If I knew someone to have lunch with, this would be the place, right? really 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 pretty it's um close to dinner time i pretty much spent most of my day trying to figure out the phone situation they want like i don't know 15 1600 bucks plus tax so it's just ridiculous um i'm having audio problems with my phone and then it's locking on me so i'm just getting some fresh mint out of the garden here this is um an orange mint i've never grew, grew it before but it's growing really well in I just bought it as a filler and it's filling all right. Never put this in your yard, guys. Always put it in a container. It smells good. I'm gonna go make a salad, so follow along. Okay, I was gonna make the watermelon salad last night. I just didn't do it. I'm gonna make it now though, tonight for dinner. I'm gonna have some uh, shrimp with it as well. So I'm making a big salad, not a lot of calories in this. I'm watching everything I eat right now. Um, wow, there's like three pieces of saran wrap on this. I don't think that was necessary, but anyways, um, like Fort Knox just to get into the watermelon. I'm going to slice it up into bite-sized pieces here. I'm also going to use, um, a piece of apple, some cucumbers, some lime, mint, cilantro, and then I have some really nice vinaigrettes. Uh, white balsamic vinaigrette. I have a few different kinds. I have a pomegranate one I think I'm going to try. I haven't tried that one yet. I'm going to probably use, um, I have a chili oil and I'll use a tablespoon or a teaspoon of that as well. I'm just going to slice this up and put it into like bite-sized pieces. And uh, it's just me eating the salad so I don't have to get too fancy or anything like that, right? This is going to be really good. Whoops, lucky my tummy caught that. <laughs> well, thank God I have a tummy right now, right? It's good for something. Okay, I um, think next I'll cut up the apple. I have my dinner bowl sitting here. I should just bring it this way. It'd be a little easier, right? I'm gonna slice up about a quarter of a cucumber in this. I have a lot of watermelon, so that's good for me. I'll cut the cucumber into like bite-sized pieces. Good. If I had feta cheese, I'd add that too, but I don't, so I won't. This is fresh mint from the garden. Probably only use half an apple. We'll see. It'll go bad if I don't use it though. I'm just leaving the skin on and I'll slice it bite-sized pieces, I guess. The salad's just for me. I'm eating all of this and some shrimp for dinner. Loading up on low calorie things, right? So there's really no calories in this. Not a lot anyways. A little bit in the apple, I guess, but not a, nothing to worry about. Going to squeeze some lime juice over the apple too so it doesn't turn brown. And definitely fresh cilantro into this. Okay, I'm going to use a half a lime on this. It'll be very nice over top. And I'm going to use some of the rind as well. I like citrusy stuff. There you go. 
And I'm going to add a little handful of fresh cilantro. I'm a lover of cilantro too. Okay, I'm going to use this oil or and vinegar. This one's a balsamic vinegar pomegranate. And I'm just going to drizzle that over top. It's a white one. And then the oil, I'll probably use about half a teaspoon, a teaspoon of the chili oil. Not much. And then I'm going to toss all this together. The oil, I don't want the calories because I'm going to fry my shrimp. And then some nice fresh pepper on top. Peppers are great with watermelon. Okay, I have my oil hot here ready to go. I think I have six or seven shrimps that I'm putting in here. And I'll use it with some Thai chili sauce. This does not take long to cook at all. It goes really, really fast. I know I'm not the best videographer or editor or any of those things, but I try, I try. I did want to thank everybody who has liked and subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. I do enjoy doing this a lot. I know I'm not the best, but I'm giving it 100%. And one day maybe I can afford to have an editor and buy better equipment and that. But that'll all come in time. In the meantime, um, thank you for taking your time out of your day and following me. Okay, these are almost done. And I am going to take them out of the pan. And I'm going to get everything ready to sit down and have dinner. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Okay, I have a beautiful dinner. Not a lot of calories, though calories are definitely in the fried shrimp. I have just a little bit of dipping sauce. And I'm going to go enjoy this. And um, I already tested the salad. It is really lovely. The balsamic vinegar is so nice. The pomegranate one, it's really nice. I just drizzled probably not even a half a teaspoon of oil in here because I really don't care if I have a lot. And the pepper on the watermelon is definitely something you need to do but it's very fresh tasting, very enjoyable. I am gonna close this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Please take the time and be so kind to like and subscribe. And I really appreciate um, everyone who does so. It makes my heart sing. Happy summer meal. See you all in the next one. Ciao, have a good evening.